From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. The Panj River snakes its way through the western Pamir Mountains, creating the border between Tajikistan and Afghanistan. The Tajik town of Ishkashim is known for its colorful transboundary market, where Afghans and Tajiks exchange goods and money, thanks to a bridge that links the two countries. But for the people in Ishkashim, commerce is not the main source of income. Most of them are farmers, working in a dry, mountainous landscape. Water is abundant here. It flows down from the ice-capped mountains, feeding into the mighty Panj River. And the challenge has been bringing the water to the farmland. Thanks to a network of canals built over time, Ishkashim has long been an oasis of green fields and orchards in the midst of the arid mountains that surround it. But recently, access to water has become a serious problem for farmers like Anwar Ali Dodo. Over the years, because of the great flow of water, the cement became weak and collapsed. It was clear to people here that we had to fix it. Otherwise, we would lose our lands. This canal was built several decades ago when Tajikistan was part of the Soviet Union. With the canal broken, Anwar and the other farmers could no longer irrigate their lands. But they lacked the resources and coordination to fix it. A team of Tajik and international experts and officials have been visiting Ishkashim over several years as part of the High Pamir and Pamir Alai Sustainable Land Management Project known as PALM. Murad Ergashev from the PALM project. Our objective is to use this land sustainably in order to reduce the level of poverty in the region. Backed by the Global Environment Facility, PALM is a project implemented by the UN Environment Programme and the UN University. The project team studies the way people in the Pamir Mountains use and manage their lands. Nevalina Pachova from the Palm Project. Most of the irrigation infrastructure in the region, currently it is not uh, very efficient. Uh, uh, there's very little water is actually reaching the, the croplands where it's needed. The villagers discussed their issues with the researchers and decided to take action. With the necessary technical and financial backing, Anwar teamed up with his neighbors to fix the canal. With the support of the Palm Project, we were able to reconstruct over 2,600 meters of the canal, improve its dangerous parts, and strengthen the dike. The villagers have also set up a community fund to pay for future maintenance. With the Panch River once again flowing through the canal, people in this remote mountain region can now irrigate their fields and provide food all year round. This report was produced by Luis Patron for the United Nations.